Hey everyone and welcome back to Cheng's Aqua and Halloween is coming up so I wanted to show you guys how I make f Halloween fish decor oh, to be able to show you guys how I use how I get Halloween decorations and make them aquarium safe in all my tanks. I picked this up at Target and I'm going to be using Plasti Dip to actually make it safe for my fish. Um, all I have to do is actually use about three coats. I spray it and I do about 30 minutes to an hour in between each coat and then after that I wait a day and a half before I put them in my aquarium as you see me putting it into my little aquascape. If you guys like this, uh, if you guys like the way that looks, you guys should check out the video where I created the DIY Aquascape. And yeah, and if you guys like these kind of content and you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Please smash that like button. And if you want to see other videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. And I've got other cool videos, stingray DIYs, breeding tips. Thank you, you guys, for watching, and hopefully, you guys, I'll see you guys again. So before I let you guys go today, I want to let them that you guys know that I'm taking pre-orders from my Super Red Plecos that I have personally bred here in the U.S. Um, I have personally hand-picked each breeder, each parent, mother or father, male or female, but I have my little colony going on. They come from all different places. Uh, one parent does not correlate or relate to any of the other parents in there because I wanted different genetics. I only picked one from other breeders. They're not from the pet store, none of them from Petco or PetSmart, something like that. Um, they're all local breeders, that are, or I've actually got them shipped inside here, but these have actually been bred here in our waters. And if you guys are interested, you guys can pre-order uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, or you can personally email me at changsaqua at gmail.com. And yeah. They're all about gonna be about one inch to one inch and a half. And if you want them shipped to you specifically, they will have to be at least of one inch and a half because it will be a little hardier and they can handle a little bit of more of the uh, conditions of travel, of being shipped in a little box. But um, I'm in White Plains, New York, and if you guys are interested, you guys can come pick them up. Maybe we can meet up at a specific location. All works for me. Uh, and thank you.